here and it says stand out on Google for free. Can you guys see that? And like the image you see says Cypress Sweets. And you know what? I think I've heard of hers. And it's so cool because she just made it to Google. <gasps> oh, I did just see her. So I think I saw something about her on Instagram. And I was just like, oh, that's cute. Oh, look, she made it to Google's. Um, you know, I'm pretty just pick random businesses to highlight, but that is super cute. I wonder if she knows that she's on there. Uh, I'm gonna have to take a screenshot and send it to her. Um, uh, I'm sorry. Side note, okay. That is really cool. Check her out being extra. <gasps> Super cute. Okay. Anywho. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So let's say, for example, you put candy store near me. Hers may come up. You're in Texas. You might see hers come up. That's what a Google business page is. And so in the notary space, in any business, every business needs a Google business page. Um, the only reason why I would say you probably wouldn't need one is if you have like a online store like a dropshipping company, something that you, you're just selling things online, you may not need a Google business page depending on your model. But outside of that, you need a Google business page. Okay, so under the side of, you are under the sign of my voice, when we are done this training, say to yourself, I am going to set up my Google business page, period. And actually what you can do is you can do it with me right now, like as I'm doing it, you can do it. Because most of you guys said you don't have your Google business page set up. Okay, so let's hop into this, okay? What I will do, actually, I'm going to go through the training first, and then I'll look over your page, okay? So here is just the basic page, and it used to be called Google Business Page. Google changed the name a few months ago, and now it's called Google Business Profile, okay? Same thing. They just changed it, Google Business Profile, and it is a way to create an account um, to for your business, and it is free, I recently had a student of mine just let me know, a coaching student, that she paid, was paying for her Google business page. Come to find out she's paying for ads. You don't need to run ads in your Google business page, okay? So what I'm going to show you really quick is mine. Okay, so just another one I want to look at. I don't think. Nope. All right, hold on. I think I'm logged into the wrong account. Let me get into the right one. Okay, and this is the one I wanted to show you. Share businesses all right so you guys know we had that new location um that we just opened in um chesterfield the notary business center but these two companies so notary to notary is a training company on time notary is my signing service but they operate at the same location so initially when i and i'll show you guys i'll walk you through how to set one up in a second when i created these initially um this right here said code first it went from code requested when i set it and request set it up requested my code to be verified then it went to account suspended okay uh that can happen i'm going to talk about that at the different levels so the first thing we're going to talk about is creating the account after you create an account google's going to send you a code in the mail to verify that you are who you are and that you really want to set this account up once you put this, so right now I'm waiting on a code. That's why it says code requested. Once the code comes, I can enter the code here and then I'll be verified. That's a possibility I put that code in and it may say pending. So it may say pending and then it'll say verify. So now this profile is live, okay? Because it's verified and live. This one, even though it's the same location, is pending. And the reason why I did two different profiles is because it's two different businesses and two different services and, and two different keywords I'm going to be using to attract people to that location. Notary to notary attracts a certain kind of person. On-time notary attracts a certain kind of person because one is notary training and one is notary services. Okay, and so everything that I do is going to be very keyword and targeted, very keyword specific, and I'm going to target it to the person I want to come to me. Okay. Um, is everybody with me? Yeah? Okay, cool. Let's keep going. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stop sharing to here. And I, I wonder if it'll let me... Um, start, pretend to start a new one. Okay, yeah, it does. Okay, and I won't finish it all the way through. I'll just show you. I don't, I'm not going to submit it. Okay, so... Here is what it looks like when you want to start the account. So if you are following this along with me, just open up a new tab, go to where I put Google My Business, hit, you know, where I, what was the button they clicked? It said sign in or manage or create an account. Everybody know how to get to this page, basically. Then you're going to find a manager business. So you're going to add your business to Google. So let's say, for example, your business name 
is um let's see new notary um lady okay so new notary lady is not a business that's currently around right so what you, what you can see here is like you can start to see actually if you go like this so oh look at that notary and notary that's in hopewell on time notary hey i notarized hey but then you can see what's around you what's already been created so let's go back new notary lady okay and whatever your business name you put it here whatever you put here does not have to match what's on your llc it's whatever you want people to search for you by so new notary lady you can put llc or not okay and then you can put your business is not here add your business to google okay so then you're going to start building your note your business profile let me know if i'm going too fast okay so you're going to put your thing again new notary lady and your business category is going to be notary. Okay. Then it says, do you want to add a location customers can visit, like a store or office? So if you do not have a office, okay, let me break this down. People get really confused with this. If you do not have an actual physical office, even if it's a, like a co-working space office or something like that, if you do not have an actual office, then you need to select no, okay? And I, if you have a virtual office address, let's say you got an address from us because we have addresses at yourregisteragent.io. That is still no because you don't want people to show up to our location for our PO box, right? For your box. So if you do not have a location for people to show up at, I do not recommend doing your house. People will show up there when even when it's not open. When you have hours and it says closed, they still will show up. And it's a safety reason. For safety reasons, I would not do that. So you want to make sure that you're only putting an address if you have an actual office space. Okay? Everybody with me? All right. So let's keep going. So we're going to put, do you want to add a location customers can visit like a store or office? No. I provide mobile services. So since we're not having a location, where do you serve your customers since you don't have a brick and mortar? Add areas where your business provides deliveries, home or office visits. So then you can say, okay, I provide services in Richmond, Virginia. And then you can say, I also provide services to Chesterfield, Virginia. And you can say, okay, I also, all of your areas you wanna put here. So because you don't have an actual brick and mortar, you're going to put all the areas that you will travel to. What that does is when people are in Chesterfield or Richmond or Glen Allen, Virginia, and they're searching for a notary near me based off your off of your how you built your profile, that is how Google knows to make your listing appear. If you only put Richmond, Virginia, then when someone's searching from Glen Allen, they typically will not see your listing because I'm sure there are notaries that have put Glen Allen in their area and that's who Google is going to share that with, okay? So you can put as many areas as you want here. Everybody with me? As many areas as you service here, okay? Then we're gonna hit next. Then it says add a, add a phone number to your um, Google business page, one. That phone number is what people are going to call. So your cell phone, your business line, whatever that is, you need to put a phone number here. You also need to have a website. How many of you guys have a website already created for your notary business? Okay. It's not mandatory to, to have it set up when you set up your Google business page, but your Google business page is going to get higher ranking and visibility when you have your website set up. If you have a website, go ahead and put it in the chat and I will go ahead and critique that for you as well while we're on here, okay? Look at that, one-on-one -on -one coaching coming to you live, okay? If you have a website, put the link in the chat and I will critique that for you as well, okay? So if you don't have one getting started, you can definitely get one done. You can go to fiverr.com and find someone to do it for you pretty inexpensive. You can find someone typically for like 50 to 75 bucks to build a website for you. You still have to get your domain, but you can use Weebly, hold on, Weebly.com or Wix.com for free, or you can do GoDaddy.com and that's paid. 
But if you're going to do GoDaddy.com, add promo codes. Trust me when I tell you. Otherwise, you're going to be paying for stuff you have no business paying for. Promo code everything. And you can get promo codes from RetailMeNot.com. Okay? I just put it in the chat for you. Okay? So you're going to put a phone number in. I'm sure lots of numbers are going to pop up for me right now. Oh, no. Okay. And your website, let's put what I said it was. Um the notary lady.com. I just created that, or you can put I don't have a website, whatever the case is. Next. Okay. Next thing we're gonna look at is please verify your mailing address. Okay. Now, this is the page where they're going to mail you a code. Now, you see where it says this address you provide here will be hidden from the public. So post offices are not eligible. The address you put here is just for Google to send you a code to, show, to make sure that you're a legit person. You cannot put a P.O. box. I've had people put P.O. boxes and they say, oh, it works. And then later their page gets flagged or shut down. Just do it right. If you do it right, you won't have issues. If you do it wrong, guess what? Now you're messed up in the game. OK, so just do it right. OK, I'm not going to put this in here because if I do, they're going to mail me a code and actually make the, the listing. And I don't want to do that. This is just a page to show you how quick and easy it was. Somebody tell me how fast that is. Somebody tell me how fast we were able to go through that and set that first step up. And I'm going to go back really quick. And I'm going to do it again without talking to show you how quick it is. There's a method to my madness, even though it's not madness. Where do you serve your customers? Once again, I'm making a point. You'll see my point in a minute. Hey, my Vanessa, what are you doing? You'll see my point in a minute. Put your address in. Next, they're going to mail you a code. That's it. Then it says, wait for your code. Now, when the I'll show you the next page that you'll get to in a second, but that is all that you have to do to get your code. You can't, your business profile will not be live until you put your code in. So you can go in a second on another page I'm going to show you, and that is going to have you start adding content, but that's all you have to do. So if you are under the side of my voice and you do not have your Google business page, do that now. It takes two seconds. I will wait. <laughs> 